as the payment system changes and healthcare um, providers and provider organizations increasingly are held accountable for the costs and outcomes of the populations that they care for, they're going to need to focus on the high cost, poor outcome patients in order to lower costs and improve outcomes. And as they do that, I think they'll come to understand that um, most of the costs and most of the bad outcomes are borne by a very small fraction of the patients. And that this small fraction of the patients has not usually one problem, but many problems. And I think that um, for these high utilizing patients who are often are going in and out of the hospital, having the same doctor who can care for them both in the inpatient setting and the outpatient setting as we're proposing will be a really important model to accomplish those goals. I think patient-centered medical homes are kind of the right idea, but um, too often not applied to the right population. And I think that if you add more personnel to most primary care practices, there's a good chance what you will end up doing in the end is raising costs. And um, what you need to do is find the way to, to add the right resources to the right populations so that um, they're really focused on the high utilizers. A lot of primary care can be effectively provided by advanced practice nurses, particularly for the vast majority of us. Um, that much said, there's clearly a subgroup of patients and moments in any patient's life when problems get more complicated and you really want to have a doctor, I think, who's, who's doing it. And that's why I think this sort of role for doctors where they're caring for the sicker patients, both in the inpatient setting and the outpatient setting, is, is a really exciting one. Health IT is very important. We use it to identify at-risk patients to do so efficiently. We use it to remind these doctors that, to tell their doctor that the patient has appeared in the emergency room. We use it in our handoffs. It's just not a cure-all. And in fact, I think they're complements to each other. That the better the information is provided to a doctor who's really invested in the patient, the better the outcome you get. But I don't think that Health IT is a substitute for an invested doctor. I think it's a complement. I mean, I think evidence is always important. Medicine certainly has an element to it that's an art, but a lot of it is a science, and we need to use that evidence. But we also need to understand its limitations. And its limitations are, are complex, um, but one of the most common limitations is that evidence is generated in a finite population of people that often have a limited number of other things going on in them. And yet the individual patient you care for can have a whole lot of other things going on that you really need to think about when you make decisions. And so I think that doctors should be aware of the evidence, but understand its limitations. Use that information in the context of what they know about the patient to share that information with the patient and together make as good a decision as they can, given those complex interacting factors. But I think that one of the big advantages that doctors who truly know the patient have is that they really understand that context, and I think that's extremely valuable.